It's weird that there'd be a kid out trying to kill people. February 1988, a 15-year-old opened fire at Pinellas Park High School. We really hadn't had any um, shootings in schools in 1988. Dr. Nancy Blackwelder was an assistant principal. It was a, a horrific thing to witness. 600 kids filled the cafeteria when a teacher got word that a couple of students were bragging about having guns. Blackwelder spotted one of the boys in the lunchroom. The kid uh, looked like any other kid, kind of clean cut. Nothing that looked very threatening about the kid whatsoever. It was 15-year-old Jason McCoy. Blackwelder and another administrator asked McCoy to go with them to the principal's office. He stood up from his seat. He reached into the waistband of his blue jeans and he pulled out a gun. They struggled to get McCoy to the ground and knock his gun away. We thought we pretty much were on the way to getting things under control and little did we know that his best friend, who was also in the cafeteria, also had a gun. To me it sounded like firecrackers going off. Senior Manuel Valenka was eating lunch. It, it was gunfire. 15-year-old Jason Harless fired the gun to help his friend Jason McCoy get away. He shot assistant principal Richard Allen at point-blank range in the head, killing him. He shot a student teacher in the leg. Then he shot me. Black welder. It was for the grace of God that I moved at the instant that I did because he was aiming at the middle of my back, but because I turned to look, uh, when he shot, the bullet went through my arm, through my stomach, and into my leg. Both boys ran from the cafeteria. Harless was arrested outside the school. McCoy was found hiding at a friend's house nearby. It happened so fast. The trauma haunted Valenka for months. And I didn't even complete high school because of it. Just, I, I couldn't go back. Blackwelder recovered and returned to Pinellas Park High. 18 months later, she left to become a school bus safety specialist. You would think with each um, event that occurs that um, there would be lessons learned, and, uh, but people, f people forget. As you know, when you first asked me to do this interview, I told you no, and I kind of got inspired by those kids that are going off and saying, by George, we're not gonna put up with this anymore. She cherishes the life she nearly lost. Blackwelder says we cannot sit and wait for the next tragedy to happen. I don't know, until we can address significantly the mental health issues and significantly the gun ownership issues, um, how are we going to keep a wacko with a gun out of our schools? Harless spent eight years in prison, while McCoy was sentenced to six, but served less than two. The Pinellas County School District says they now have a school police department available 24 hours a day for safety. Crystal Clark, Fox 13 News.